In this video, we're going to take a look at a distance problem where we're trying to play catch up. Someone has a head start and we're trying to catch them. Well, let's see what happens. What we're going to do to help set this up is we're going to remember we have to add the head start to the time of the person with the head start because the person with the head start's been traveling longer, so we need to add that time. And the idea here with playing catch up, oh here, let me, let's see here. I don't want this box here. The idea with playing catch up is one person leaves and gets so far, another person says, I'm going to catch up with them. So I go out after them. But as I go, the other person keeps going, and so we end up with this total distance between the two of them as being exactly the same. Neither one travels further. One travels faster, one travels longer, but the distance is the same when they catch up because they both start at the same spot and end at the same spot. So to help set this up, we've got a distance on top and a distance on the bottom, and remember, distance is rate of the first person times the time of the first person. And on the bottom, rate of the second person, time of the second person is equal to that distance. And because the distances are the same, we say these pieces must be the same. Rate 1, time 1, that's the first person's distance. Rate 2, time 2, that's the second person's distance, is the same. They cover the same distance, they're equal to each other. So if Raquel leaves a party traveling 5 miles per hour, and 4 hours later, Nick leaves to catch up with her. He's traveling 7 miles per hour, blazing fast to catch up with Raquel, 4 hour head start. Let's see what happens. Raquel goes, Nick goes and catches up with her. Remember that distance is rate times time. So to get this distance on top for Raquel, we'll put Nick on the bottom, we need to multiply a rate times a time. What do we know about Raquel? Well, she traveled 5 miles per hour. Raquel also has a head start. Remember, we want to add the head start to the time of the person with the head start. 4 hours later, she's got a 4 hour head start. So her rate is 5 miles per hour times her time, which includes an additional head start of 4 hours. Nick, then, we're told, is traveling 7 miles per hour. That's his rate times the time. Well, we don't know what kind of time Nick's traveling for, so he's going to be our variable, t. Notice again, we've got a rate times a time equals the distance on the bottom, and a rate times a time equals the distance on the top. Rate times time gives you the distance, and because they covered the same distance, we know they have to be equal. Raquel's 5 times t plus 4 must be equal or the same as Nick's 7t. We now have an equation we can solve by first simplifying or distributing, giving us 5t plus 20 equals 7t. Get the variable on one side by subtracting the 5t from both. This gives us 20 equals 2t. Finally, divide the t both sides by 2, getting the time alone is equal to 10. How long is it going to take Nick to catch up with her? It's going to take him 10 hours to catch up with her because she had a 4 hour head start. I hope he's really motivated. But for now, let's look at another example. Trey leaves going 20 miles per hour. Julia, Julian, Julian, left 2 hours later traveling in the same direction at 30 miles per hour. How many hours does Julian take to pass Trey? So again, Trey leaves, and Julian goes and passes him. So we're putting Trey on the top, Julian on the bottom in this picture. 
And remember that distance is rate times the time. We have to multiply the rate by the time to get the distance. So what do we know about Trey? Do we know anything about Trey's rate? Trey traveled 20 miles per hour. Trey's rate is 20 miles per hour. Trey also had a head start. Two hours later, Julian left. So Trey gets the head start added to his time. Time plus the two-hour head start. What about Julia? Julian. Well, she's traveling at 30 miles per hour. That's her rate. We're not given anything about her time. It's just the amount of time it takes to catch up. That's our variable. That's our t. Well, if they covered the same distance, because they started and stopped at the same place, their distances must be equal. Trey's distance is 20 times t plus 2. Julian's distance is 30 times t. We now have an equation we can solve, which we found by multiplying rate times time. Rate times time. Distribute the 20, giving us 20t plus 40 equals 30t. Get the variable on one side by subtracting the 20t's. 40 equals 10t. And finally, get t alone by dividing by 10. She is going to pass tray after 4 hours. When we're playing catch up, we will always see this property where we are adding the head start to the time of the person with the head start.